I'd like to welcome everybody to FDIC 2015. We're very excited the City Mesa Fire Department to have our pumper on display here. This is one of several Pierce apparatus we have in our department. We are a 100% Pierce Fire Department, which was started way back in 1990s with the help of Larry LaBarber, who wanted to standardize our fleet to help with maintenance issues. We started buying Pierce then. A few years ago, we actually got a five-year contract with the help of the city management to purchase Pierce Fire Apparatus, and we've just renewed that, and we're two years into the second phase of a five-year uh, contract with Pierce. What you see here is our quantum pumper. It is one of five that we're taking delivery of in the next few weeks, along with an 85-foot platform. All of our pumpers are standardized in the city of Mesa. We have 20 stations. Out of those 20 stations, we run 19 engine companies and six ladder trucks. As you can see, Pierce has helped us uh, design this truck. Um, we've actually changed our name just recently to, fire, to Mesa Fire and Medical to, to be more in tune with what we do to serve the citizens of Mesa. I'm part of a, of a large group of members in the fire department that are actually the apparatus committee team, headed by Larry LaBarber, Gary Spencer, Casey Beal, and myself. Um, one of the things that we do like on this pumper that the guys really love is the steps, how they fold down, and ease of the guys being able to get up in, in uh, the cab very easy. This year also, we asked Pierce, because of some shortage of manpower in the city of Mesa, due to budget cuts, to help us install a lot more stuff in the truck this year. So now we have the Havis computer mounts, Motorola radios, and the SETCOM headset systems that they've uh, installed for us at the factory. We're hoping that this is gonna actually sh uh, shorten the amount of time it takes us to put these trucks in service. This truck here is actually replacing a Pierce pumper that is at station 205, that has been in service for about 15 years, it's got about 150,000 miles on it, so we're anxious to get these trucks in service and replace the trucks that are gonna now go into reserve status, and we'll probably hang on to those for a few more years. Another thing we worked closely with Pierce on was the TAC-4 uh, suspension. Our guys love the ride on it and the, the uh, stability of it. Our drivers say it's like uh, driving a sports car. They love it a lot. One thing, though, that we did run into with our last series of Pierce pumpers is with the new suspension, it actually raised up the steps a little bit. We had some complaints from the guys about that in the last three pumpers that we purchased. So Pierce actually worked with us to lower the steps, and I understand this is now going to be the standard for the Quantums coming out from now on. Another big feature that we put on these trucks here is in order for our guys to have comfort in it, this truck here at Station 5 runs about 15 calls a day. It's an extremely busy station. Our whole department runs about 80,000 calls a year. So the guys are in the truck all the time. We went ahead with the air ride suspensions in the back. And then Pierce also helped us design a information station up there. We use iPads for electronic patient reporting. And we were able to have them design a station up there that we can charge the iPads with and actually have them ready for the guys when they get on the scene to do the electronic patient reporting. Another thing that we worked with Pierce Close on is we had a lot of uh, issues with guys twisting ankles. When I first got in the department, the hose bed was way up here, and it was very difficult to try to get that. We were able to work with Pierce, lower this down, and now our firefighters with ease can grab the, the speed lays and actually deploy the hose quickly when we get in the scene of emergencies. We've gone ahead with the extended gun on there. This is the new one from Elkhart, it's the Cobra. Something new that we're trying to rapid deploy to get the um, water flowing quickly on a scene of a fire. By having it electronic and actually running at the pump panel, our engineer can put it in, in, in play real quick while they're making the connection to the hydrants. Something also new that we're trying this year is in this compartment here, we've gone ahead with the swing out tool um, boards. In the past, we've just mounted our tools back there and it's gotten real crowded for the guys. Also, with the, with the guys getting new tools on and off all the time, we end up putting holes in there and have to remount stuff and it, it really becomes an issue. So, we went with the swing out tool boards this year. We're going to try that and see how that works. Put the tools that the guys are going to use the most, axes, officer tools on the, on the front side. On the back side, there'll be tools that the guys don't use that often. Another thing that we went with back here is all of our trucks now have backup cam cameras. That's a standard on every single Mesa Fire Department vehicle. It assists us with backing of the, of the vehicles and it's cut down on our accidents greatly by that. We've also lowered the hose bed um, height so it's easy for our guys to be able to get up there and get the hose beds. And then Pierce also makes a special backboard compartment for us. Another thing we do, I'm not sure how many people actually do this, but we end, 
we years ago we ended up talking to Pierce about this. Usually this compartment door here opens and swings this way, and our engineers would complain all the time, saying that I got to walk around this door to be able to actually get my tools. So we do the suicide style doors on the on the pumpers here. So our engineer has the ability to get his appliances out here. They're able to write calculations on the door here, and they're able to run their pump without having to walk around this door and be uh, burdened by the door of it moving back and forth. Also, we have the complete wheel and light package on here. We've gone with the rota beams on the um, on the light bar. They've given us front scene lights, side scene lights, and rear scene lights. They're all the Pioneer Series uh, scene lights, so we're excited about that. I'd like to also thank Hughes Fire Equipment in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Jamie's our rep there. He works uh, tirelessly with us, making sure that we get exactly what we want and the vehicles are built to spec every time. I'd like to thank everybody for taking a few minutes watching FDIC 2015. Sorry you couldn't make it. you got to come here for 2016. This is the show to come to.